Hello everyone, this is Maria Kronk and I'm coming to you to make a delicious chocolate pudding-like dessert that's called pour la creme. I am saying that wrong, pour la creme. I am totally saying butchering the French language. It's the most beautiful language. I'm probably saying that wrong, but it is P-O-T-D-E and then creme. It's a delicious like pudding mousse-like chocolate dessert and basically I made it low carb. I've made the same pour la creme, which I'm probably saying wrong, but I made the same dessert in a, a Valentine's Dinner for Two cooking demo that I did. It's in my Facebook group. I did it a couple years back and I made a paleo version of it. So this time I made a keto version of it, but I do have some dairy-free paleo approved options. For example, um, in the keto version, I used whipping cream okay as a base and in the paleo um, with the paleo options i'm using coconut cream to replace that this is dairy free and then for the sweetener in the paleo version i have pure maple syrup right from the tree it's clean it's right from the tree it's paleo approved but it is high carb so in the keto version i'm using a maple flavored maple syrup and it has, it's sweetened with erythritol and the monk fruit, so it's low carb, no sugar substitute, so it's great for keto, the keto diet. And so that's what I made this dessert with. And then for the whipping cream that I put, here's my little dessert with my little X's and O's and my little heart behind it. Um, what I did was I whipped up some whipping cream using this whipping cream and I whipped it up. I added a little bit of stevia, and then I added a little bit of vanilla extract. I used this pastry bag and just, you don't have to do that, but I just wanted it to look really, get into the Valentine's Day spirit. I love these disposable bags because you can just throw them away. So, um, and then with the, the little chocolates, I just took this parchment paper and I put it on top of this little template thing. And then I just traced out, I melted the chocolate on a double boiler. I found that that's much more effective than putting it in the microwave. Some people put it in there for 15 second increments. The trick is to do it on very low heat. Do not get it over hot or the chocolate will harden. Do not get any moisture in it. Don't let the water at the bottom of the double boiler touch the top of the pan and don't let any steam or water get inside the chocolate. Um, I'm not a chocolatier, but those are a few tips that will help. I found that working with dark chocolate is much easier than working with white chocolate. So there is that too. But yeah, it was, it was fun. It's There's so many different things you can do. I also took this little strain, it's a tea strainer actually, but I took, I put some cocoa, cacao in there, which is unprocessed cocoa, and I just kind of um, shook it and sprinkled it over the top. It really looks really pretty that way. There's so many things you can do with this dessert though, you guys. You can put, um, like mash up a little bit of raspberries, which are low carb, put a little bit of sweetener in there and make it into like a glaze and you can pour that over the top. You can put in whipping cream and then add some fresh strawberries. Um, another thing that would be really good in here is some liqueur like Grand Meunier or like a Godiva chocolate liqueur. You're only putting a little bit, so it's not gonna add that many more carbs to it, but it would really, really make a wonderful flavor. I used orange food grade essential oils because I love the, the flavor of orange and chocolate. So that's what I used in here.
So share this with your low carb foodie friends or your paleo friends and be sure to like and comment. Let me know what you think. It helps my video get seen more when there's comments and likes and actions going on it. I would love to hear your experience, how you, what you thought of this recipe. So be sure to comment and I will be talking to you soon.